Hello Inventors, this is Saro. In this video, we will learn how to create Dictionary app using MID App Inventor. So, let me show you the demo of this app first, then we will create this app. So, here you can see that's the first screen of our app, full form app, and you can see there's three and four words, four words only. Okay, now you can search all these words. Suppose, let's search LMK, right, this one. Now, let me just click on any word, okay, so LMK. And you can see, let me know. That's the full form of LMK. Okay. Now click on back button. Now, here you can see the admin button, right? So click on that admin. If you want to add some word, so you have to put your admin password. You can see office use only. So enter the password. So suppose my password is 1234. Okay. Now, okay. You will re redirect to this screen. You can see the short form. So you have to type any short form, like suppose. TC, okay, and the TC is take care. And then we need to click on save button. Here you can see the updated. Now go back. Here you can see the TC. Whenever someone click on that TC, so you can see take care. Here we go. So we are using our MIT app inventor to create this project. So here you can see dictionary app. So that's the first screen. We will use here Firebase to store our words. Okay. So let me just uh, drag and drop one layout. And that is vertical arrangement. Okay. Like this one. And like it to width is fill parent and height is fill parent like this. We will use your admin panel also. Okay. So we can add all these word from our admin panel. Okay. Now uh, that's our first screen. So we have to display our word. So we can see in the user interface list view this one drag and drop this and we will make this one check so filter option. So we will display all words here. Okay. Now we need here one button and that button name is admin. Okay. Suppose if you are admin, so you need to click on that button to add some words here. I will use here one label. Okay. Like this to display the full form okay full forms app like that and i'm to make this one 18 and click on vertical arrangement and make this one in a center and align horizontal should be center align vertical you can make it in a top like this okay now let me just change that button uh at least 18 something like that font bold change background color something orange or something like that okay i'm going to change the vertical arrangement uh, background color also so i will use this one something like that okay i will choose full form text color should be white like this okay now we will display all words here now that's our first screen. Now I'm going to hide this screen and drag and drop another screen. So whenever someone, whenever someone, let me just use here, whenever someone click on the, any words, okay, so we need to redirect them to another layout to show their uh, full forms, okay. So let me just hide this uh, vertical arrangement and drag and drop another one like this. Make this one also width and hide as fill parent like this and change that background color again. Do something look like this okay and turn drag and drop your two labels okay first and second and that first level we will display the uh, verb okay like this and in the another we will display the description like this now I'm going to change that label uh, one by something text font sizes at least 30 and the description I'm to make it at least 24 like this and click on that vertical arrangement and make this although uh, those thing in a center like this both thing right and I'm to change that by color not background I'm to change the text color like this and change that text color to white like this right now uh, we will use uh, that field as a dynamic value okay so you don't need to worry now we need to use your buttons to go back Okay, so yes, yeah, we will use here some simple back button and make sure this should be font size at least 80. Change background color to orange like this. Okay, now 
that's all second skin let me just hide this one also and we will use here one more skin for admin panel so our admin can add the words okay so for that we need to just do simple with and hide it fill parent change the background color something that you want like this and then in the final we need here two text box and two buttons okay so first text box this one text box first text box is work and second text box for meaning and then we need two buttons one for save the database or uh, save the words in the list or database and second button for go back in that go back button i just write here back and then at least 80 oh only 80 one not 80 18 and then change background color to orange right and make sure word guard element should be in both things all these things in a center like this and this button we can do button three we can use this as a safe like this and we need to use here some background color for this button so i will use here to steal green light green and change that to 18 and then text to white make it font bold font bold like this okay so now we need one more label here if the text is updated so we will just display her updated we will make it blank right for right now okay so that's the uh, overall screen okay now we need to drag and drop here one firebase right so let's drag and drop firebase from experimental drag and drop this okay and then we need to create account in firebase so let's create open new tab and just type here console.firebase.google.com and then you have to use your account you have to use your google account to create one project so you need to go to the console here and you can see the add project click on this and your project name you can say uh suppose di sc tcb app okay not enable get project click on continue and then we need to click on real time database in the left side you will find this one right and then we need to click on create database and then next then enable now we need to click on that rules option here okay and then we need to uh, enable both things to make it true and this one is also true like this okay and then click on publish button right simple now go to the data again and you can see that's the url we need to copy this url this url right and then copy this url and go to their app click on this firebase and you can see the firebase url this one okay default we need to paste our url here like this okay app connector or firebase uh with our mit app inventor app now that's our ways of first screen this one is our first screen let me hide third screen for the panel right so that's our first screen now we need to code for whenever someone click on that admin okay admin button so we need to redirect this to world management 3 okay so let's go uh let me just uh this one and what i will do here click on that button here you can see admin i will rename all these button so admin btn like this right and if it is go to be here and this one you can see that is also back button it means back uh you can see this one back from the back btn tesc description okay and then back button which one is uh this one is also our back button i think this one this one oh uh, and we will say uh the back btn admin okay fine now let me just hide this one vertical which will make it off now go to the block so whenever someone click on that admin button it means this one admin button so we need to open one uh we need to ask the password okay so no one can add the uh, words here so only admin can add that word so we need here one more thing is go to the user interface and get the notifier just drag and drop this here and go to the block and you will find your notifier this one and you will we can see here the option of 
password dialog this one show password dialog we need to call this when someone click on that admin buttons we need to call this and here we will use something like text and go there and message we can say something uh office use only like that and in the title we can just uh, use your enter your password right and we will make this cancelable yes so just type here true and enter and drag and drop the save so uh, click on that uh, notifier and you will see after choosing okay so af or you can say after text uh, input cancel choosing cancel after text input so you can see four or five types but uh, we need to choose the after text input okay so this one so whenever uh, we uh, we put some password here okay so what the response we will get here we will get all response here so we have to check if the password okay so we will use a condition if the response is equal to some password so you can choose any password here so this password is uh, static so suppose i will use your one two three four five like this if the password is equal to our get response sorry, okay so if the get response is equal to our password one two three four five then we will uh, display the another screen it means this one screen vertical arrangement three we will make it visible on just make it here and make it true or we need to make our vertical arrangement for should be false like this right that is fine no we are uh, we are in that screen which screen in that screen third screen right make it hide us now whenever someone click on the save button it means save data btn okay so whenever someone click on that button so we have to save our data okay in our file base so go to the block you will find save data btn so when someone click on that button so we need to call here firebase so click on firebase and you will see the stored value this one and the tag the which tag we have to store we have to store tag is something from sorry not this uh, we will use tag from our text box one sorry text box one dot text this one and the value we will get from text box dot text like this okay now we need to uh, click on the text box one dot text and set that value after saving the data we will make it uh, blank okay so we can put another word also here like this text box two right now we need to update our label also okay so set label text whenever the data we updated then we will save like uh, we will use here updated okay like this data updated or you can see updated okay now this now whenever someone click on that back button it means back admin button this one so we need to use here whenever someone click on that button so we will we need to hide this vertical arrangement which one is our vertical arrangement three we need to hide make it false and we need to open our Word arrangement one, this one. But we have to, uh, we have to update uh, the list also. So how we can do this? So we need to call your Firebase, and you will find your get the list, get tag list. This one, we need to call this. Okay. But on that get tag list, whenever we get, we will call this uh, function. So you can see the got value uh, tag list. You can see when Firebase get tag list. So we have to store all this value in our list that we have used in this vertical arrangement one list view so we will set list view elements this one from this list value like this okay now we are saving our data here okay now that is for admin part okay now we need to uh, code for another part is mean that is completed right now we need to hide this okay we have completed this part also uh second part okay but we need to code for the second screen and first screen. So first, whenever we open our app, so we need to display all the uh, tag list that we have saved using admin panel. We will display here. Okay. So how we can do that? So go to the blog. So whenever our screen will in a slice, this one. Okay. Then we need to call here this one. Call Firebase get list. This one. Right. And we need to. Uh, this is fine. Now we have a list of our words here here now whenever someone click on any word on that so 
now how we can do this for code so click on list view and can see the after pick so whenever we pick any word okay first we need to hide a uh, word color arrangement one okay whenever someone pick uh, some word it means one word then we will hide and then we will do display the another screen word arrangement two make it true okay now we need to display the word so you can see the label two this one okay so in that label two we will display the selected word that we have selected using uh, the list view selection this one list view or selection but in that level uh, level 3 right uh, level 3 yeah in the level 3 we need to uh, get the value okay so how we can do this so we need to call here firebase get value function so click on firebase and you can see the get value this one we need to call this here we need to hide this okay and whenever we get the value which tag we have to get so we will get the this one tag value okay now we are getting the uh this tag value that we have selected now whenever we call this so we have to uh, we have to call this function of firebase got value because we got the value so how we can define it whenever we got the value then we will check the condition here control if us okay if the logic you can see this logic if the tag okay that we uh, that we are getting tag is equal to value is selection value list view dot selection then we will display that label two okay, label three sorry label three dot text here and we will just get that value here simple right so fine now we need to click on back button description so whenever someone click on that button so we need to hide again vertical arrangement 2 okay this one should be true should be false and the one should be true oh sorry delete it copy paste and then one should be enabled true like this okay so that's the overall code so yeah fine so like we just check how it's work or not so i'm saving the value I can see that is created. I can see TC take care, right? It's working means, right? So, yeah, if we just check this back. Oh, uh, one thing we have done with state, I think, on that admin back button click, it means go back here and you will find your admin back button. This one, oh, we have done the all fall. So, we have to make it true. This one. Yes, yeah, that's the overall code, right? So, if you have some doubt, you can ask me on comment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, like this video and share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.